Today we're going to be learning how to subtract. Let's start off with 7 minus 5. Now, if I were to write this as a sentence, I would say 7 minus 5. Okay, so that means that you are saying that I'm going to have, for example, let's say that you have 7 squares. So if I have 7 squares, let's do them in pairs of 5. So if I have 7 squares, and then I'm going to subtract or I'm going to say minus 5 minus 5. All I'm doing is that with this 5, I'm going to simply go ahead and cross them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After that, all you have to do right here is simply go ahead and circle the ones that you have remaining. So the answer here would easily be 2. Now, you can also do this with your fingers or you can do this easily in other ways, any number between 1 through 10. Because obviously, you have 10 fingers, so you can easily say I have 7 fingers up, right? Let's say I have my little hand. <laughs> I'm going to draw these little weird <laughs> images to represent a hand, right? So if you have your hand and you're counting, the way that you would do this is that you would go ahead and say, okay, well, I have seven, seven, right? I have seven fingers up. So the other ones I'm going to put down. So I have seven. And then to keep going or to be able to keep counting, all you would have to say is I'm going to go ahead and put down five fingers down. So I'm going to put this finger down. I'm going to put this finger down, this finger down, this finger down, this finger down. At that point, just ask yourself, how many fingers do I have left? And the answer would be really simple. You have two. So now we just saw two different ways to do this. We saw by doing it with our hand and another way to do it by drawing it out with boxes. Now, let's go ahead and try the next one. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to do it in two different ways. We're also going to count out loud, but we're also going to go ahead and write it out because it does help when we're able to write this out. So we're going to say 10 minus 10 minus 9 because the number on top is always going to be the one that you say first when you're saying it as a sentence. Sentence, sorry. Uh, 10 minus 9. So I'm going to go ahead and draw it out again. I'm going to draw it in fives generally because I just like it. You can draw it in whatever way you want, but I'm going to draw it in fives. So notice that every row I'm doing them in fives. So I count all the way to five, one, two, three, four, five. And then I do it again. One, two, three, four, five, five, five. That's 10. Awesome. Now, when I say that I'm minusing again, the word minus means that I'm reducing, I'm getting rid of, I'm removing, right? So to do minus nine, I have to simply go ahead and say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then my answer would simply be one. Now, again, let's go ahead and do it using our fingers. Naturally, when you practice this a lot, you're going to be able to do this without even picking up your fingers, without even having to uh, think twice about it. These are called subtraction facts. So you do practice them over time, but we have to start off understanding what it is that we're doing exactly. Again, you can think about it as I have 10 fingers, but I'm going to be removing how many fingers I have up once I'm subtracting. So in this case, I would be subtracting nine. So I'm going to say again, I'm going to erase them just so it could also be more visually appealing. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, six, seven, eight, nine. So at this point, I have one pinky up, one pinky up. And that means that I only have one number left. Whatever amount of numbers you have up is however many numbers you have remaining. And you'll hear the word remaining a lot as well. When you're doing subtraction, remaining just means whatever is left over. What is your solution? What is your answer? So those are the words that you're going to be looking for when you're doing this. It's really basic. Hopefully you learned a lot. Thank you so much for watching.